Welcome back to Closing Bell. We are coming to you live from the CNBC TV 18 Motilal Oswal Newsroom. Well, the markets have done pretty well. Uh, at least we're holding on to that 100-point uh, odd uh, uh, you know, gain, which is good news, actually. Though the breadth of the market is still lagging, you have way more number of stocks that are declining in comparison to the number of stocks that are advancing. So the crisscross lines will tell you the picture. When we started off trade, there were closer around four stocks that were advancing to one stock that was declining. Mitesh Takar is back with us. Mitesh, what do you make of the action today? Not too bad, one would say, but still will require a bigger trigger to get us past this 18,200, 18,250 odd mark. So, uh, that's right. I think uh, that strength to break on the upside is still, you know, missing. But I think uh, with every passing day, uh, <coughs> given the fact that the daily indicators are now kind of bottoming out, trying to come out of the overflow levels, the possibility is slightly getting stronger. Actually, eventually the actual price action will dictate. And once we start getting past 18, 180, 200, I think that should add momentum on the upside. Uh, till then, trade with stock specific biases. I have a Billa software as a BTST call right now. Uh, uh, that's you know one of the names on the IT uh, space, which I've been recommending earlier as well. So this is a BTST with a stop at about 298, targets of 310 here. And the other is uh, Aisha Motors. That's also uh, closing very nicely with uh, good hourly charts. So that's a BTST with a stop below 3185, another 3180 for targets of 3235. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that, uh, Mitesh. Axis Bank will be reporting Q3 numbers later today.